one of the reasons why a lot of people's content doesn't spread is because honestly it's not entertaining enough it's kind of boring right and so I'm gonna encourage you to pause before you write your next article or do your next video and ask yourself how can I make this piece of content more enjoyable maybe even entertaining for my reader and for my for my viewer and entertainment doesn't mean suddenly you have to become the funniest person in the world you know maybe you're not that kind of person maybe you're just not the kind of funny type of person I don't think I'm I'm kind of funny on my webinars and online workshops but not really in my videos I just don't I don't know I'm not I'm not in a humorous mood when I'm doing these videos um, but the way that I entertain, I guess, is, well, one, I do my videos, I try to do my videos in, in nature, so it's a bit more entertaining to kind of watch my background. But another one is, the way I, I guess I entertain and engage with you is that I really try to bring my genuine care into these videos. Um, hopefully you can feel my heart, because I really do care. Um, I want to show you that I care more than most of the marketing and business teachers that are out there who in my experience they they care maybe more about their profits and trying to get you to convert you to do this or that get your email address you know have you spend money with them than really trying to help you and educate and uplift uh, enlighten etc and so that's the way that I try to make my videos more entertaining more enjoyable and so I want to invite you to think about what would be natural for you how can you make your content more enjoyable and even maybe entertaining so that people are more likely to come back to be eager to watch or to read and to share it forward so for example in articles um, some people make their articles more enjoyable by interspersing uh, nice images in between every several paragraphs there's some kind of nice image uh, or they try to maybe some people are really good storytellers so throughout the whole thing, it's kind of like a story. They're telling a story from their own perspective or from somebody they know, right? Um, so there's lots of ways to make your content enjoyable and you just have to experiment with different ways and also notice, uh, be observant in how other people make their content enjoyable to you and ask yourself, does that match my personality? Experiment with it. That's really, really key. You've got to experiment with different ways and again, different formats of content might have you come across as enjoyable in different ways. Like I said, when you come to my online workshops, you'll notice I try to keep things fun and interesting in a different way than I have with these videos. And same thing with my articles. I try to, I guess, I actually have to say, I, I need to make my articles more enjoyable, entertaining. But this is my encouragement to all of us, right? Let's, let's pause before we create some content and say, what is a way that I can make it most naturally enjoyable for me to communicate this message in this format? Um, one way that I'm gonna, one tool that you might try is think of it as you are writing to a friend or you're making video for a friend, you're talking to a friend. When you talk to a friend or write to a friend, you don't just try to communicate a, a dry message like, oh, these are the five points I wanna tell you. Because it's your friend, you try to be fun with your friend, right? You try to tell a story like, oh, let me tell you what happened to me last Friday night, you know? You, you don't just say, well, here's what happened last Friday night, this happened, this. no, it's like, so this is what happened next. You're trying to make your friend laugh, not to try to manipulate your friend, but because you enjoy connecting with your friend. So that's how we, that's one way we can make our content more enjoyable. So I hope this is helpful. Be observant in how other people engage you with their content and see what's most natural for you to engage your audience with your content as well. How can you draw forth emotion in a way that's not manipulative, but that's honest, that's of connection, and that's enjoyable for both people involved.